Uh, joining us now is the Lincolnshire Trust for Cats founder, Jane Hills, and the oldest resident of the home, Henry. Henry's Hello, here. welcome, Henry. 100 years old in, in, in sort of human years, mm -hmm. but he's so sprightly. When he came in, he was having a look around, he was at the, at the back of the sofa. Yep. So he's perfectly happy and very content. He's very content, yes. He was in a lot of that. He was all yeah, over. Yeah. Feature yeah. Heavily. Yeah. Um, why, why was it set up in the first place? What was the first cat? Mm. Um, because it's usually where somebody elderly has died and inevitably the cats that are left behind are elderly themselves. And we can't rehome them. There's mm. more cats in the world than there are homes for, sadly. Mm. So an older cat just doesn't stand a chance. And we kept getting phone calls from people whose um, family members had died. Um, and it just seemed a good idea to do it. Oh. And, and there's quite a few of them. Do they, um, do they have a scraps? Do they have a fight? No. I mean, they've lost their homes. They've lost their owners. They've lost the territory. And territory is terribly important to cats. Mm. But it's neutral territory. Mm. So there's ad-lib food. Um, there's heated beds, there's sofas, there's outdoor areas. You might just get a bit of hiss and a spit as they pass through a doorway, but you never get major fisticuffs. Mm. 